Hey guys, this is The Bit, and this is episode 1 of the Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer. Uh, I'm going to show on screen the results of the starter poll that I posted a few days ago. And as you can see, the winner is Licky Licky. So we're going to choose Licky Licky as our starter. Um, not sure what I would nickname it yet. Um, let me just think of something real quick here. And it's male. So, Licky Licky, uh, to me, he's striking me as a Benny. So, I'm going to name him Benny. Uh, yes, Benny is the nickname that I want to give. Alright. So, now, uh, after receiving Benny, I will just cut to the interesting bits. Alright, Benny has a careful nature, which increases special defense and decreases special attack. Which is actually pretty good, I like that a lot. Um, we've got, our ability is Unburden, which is a pretty decent ability as well. And we've got Attack Order and Power Whip. Wow. This is actually, this is actually a good starter. I'm pretty satisfied with Benny. This guy gives us... Well, normally he gives us a potion. Okay, yeah, he still gives us potions. Okay, so before we head out, we've got to talk to our mom. As any good child should, they should inform their parents before going anywhere. Alright, we've just got our Poke Gear. I'll uh, change the settings on that in a moment. this theme because I like that one all right let's see our first uh, well it doesn't really count because we don't have pokeballs yet but let's see what we run into a jump off okay that's interesting <laughs> It's so weird to see uh, a licky licky already. And we're too slow to run away. I should have expected that. Okay, so I will just attack order. He has zap cannon? Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, this should be kind of KO, I think. No? We'll do it one more time. Okay, that will definitely do it. Interesting. So, a jump off. <laughs> a typhlosion. Wow, this is uh, this is going to be an interesting game. Oh man, I cannot hit this thing very hard. I wonder if I should just try to run. I'll try attack order. Uh, that was decent. We'll do it again. Okay, that doesn't do much, thankfully. Oh boy, I forgot I was paralyzed. Air slash. Oh no. Oh no, he's gonna paralyze flinch us. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna run. Or try to run. Okay. We don't wanna lose already. That would uh that would suck. I wonder if I should use a potion. I think I'll just save it because we're almost at the town. Wow, another typhlosion. Man, okay, so clearly those are the those are common in this area. Thankfully, I can run from them. Hey, man. Everyone knows this song. And we've just received our running shoes. So I will turn those on right away because we would like to run fast. This is much better. 
I'm gonna heal up as well. Okay, I don't think we're at the point where we catch Pokemon yet. Um, I will just level up a little bit though. Nice. Wow, he gets a lot of health. It's looking like Benny will be bulky, which should help us early on in the game. Interesting, a slug. Okay. Um, we should not have any problems with it, just because it's level 2. A manky. Okay, so there's an interesting variety in this first area. It's looking like the best Pokemon here is Typhlosion. So hopefully, when I get my first encounter, it will be a Typhlosion. But, you know, it's random, so... Who really knows? Nice, Benny is looking healthy and bulky. Alright, level 7 is probably good enough. I'll just heal one more time and then we'll progress. Alright, we'll head up through Route 30. We're going to that one guy's house at the top of this route. A Garchomp? <laughs> wow. There's a lot of uh, really strong Pokemon really early on. Wow. I wonder what our encounters will be when we when we're able to catch. What is that? Is that sky attack? Holy crow. I wonder how much EXP. 124? Wow. Interesting. Uh okay. I was gonna grab that item, but we'll have to wait until after this Caesar. Wow. A lot of fully evolved Pokemon have been appearing. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, I don't really want to fight him because he's Steel type. Let's see what this item is. Sacred Ash. That's actually a really good item, but we're doing a Nuzlocke, so it's useless. Alright, we've got our apricorn box from this guy here, and the reason I grabbed that is because uh, later in the game, there is a guy that will make Pokeballs for us if we bring in apricorns. So, to be able to get Pokeballs for free is always good. Man, another guard jump. It's so weird seeing a guard jump this early in the game. There he goes using Sky Attack again. Oh, I missed. Oh, hopefully this doesn't do too much. Okay, that wasn't bad. Benny's tough. He can take it. Nice. Level 8. Awesome. Yes, Benny is very bulky, which is quite good. We'll see what item this is. A lagging tail. Oh man, that's awful. <laughs> um, might be useful if we get like switcheroo or fling or something, but since we don't have access to TMs for quite some time, it won't help us yet. And a breloom. Breloom's are pretty good too. There's a lot of really good choices on this route. Oh, our first one hit KO, nice. Or first or second, I don't remember. I think it's our first. I'll grab this Apricorn. Again, because free Pokeballs are great. And now we'll head into Mr. Pokemon's house. And there is Professor Oak as well. Hey, Professor Oak. How you doing? A rare Pokemon, yeah. Licky licky, yeah. <laughs> Pretty rare. <laughs> and 
and this is where we will be receiving our Pokedex. And our bottom screen menu is full. It doesn't look full because there's an extra space here, but there's nothing that goes there, so it's full. An Anorith. Hope we don't get that. <laughs> that would that would kind of suck. Dratini is pretty good. I might be. I, w I wouldn't be upset if we got Dratini, but I would rather a Garchomp, to be honest. <laughs> Even a Scizor. Okay, we've just hit level 9. That was really fast, actually. Um, Icy Wind. Interesting. <laughs> Let's get to that lab. Oh, that's right, we have to fight this kid. Oh man, he's so rude, but you know what? That's fine. It doesn't bother us, does it? Alright, let's see which starter Pokemon he chose. Wigglytuff. Nice, we got the normal type rivalry going on. So, I don't remember what Icy Wind does, so we'll try that out. Looks kind of cool. Okay, that's the one that lower speed. Alright, that's pretty cool. We were already faster, so it doesn't really help that much, but it's still nice to do it. Oh boy. It would help if he didn't keep lowering our attack. Alright, we got him. Nice. So he should have that Wigglytuff throughout the duration of the game. How rude. <laughs> well, I forgot we got to name him as well. I'm not really sure what I'll name him. We'll figure something out. I'm gonna grab this apricorn. But, we're gonna get an encounter first. Paneri, interesting. I wonder if it resets every time I uh, exit and re-enter an area, or if there's just that many Pokemon. So I didn't think there was such a variety in this first area. there so what we'll do when we get there is we'll have to name the jerk that just pushed us out of the way uh, right after we talked to the police all right we get to name him I'm not really sure what to name him here so I'll give that a, a couple minutes to think Alright, so the first name that I thought of was Gerald, and uh, I couldn't think of anything else, so we'll just go with Gerald. <laughs> yep, his name was Gerald. That's a interesting name. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the Mom Money Bank Savings Account feature, that's what I call it. And so what that means is every time we get prize money from winning a battle or whatever, we send a portion back to mom here. And you might think that's not so good because then we have less money. Um, but it's actually quite good, I've found, because whenever... Because I tend to forget that I have that on. So when I run out of money, or whenever I come back and visit here, I end up with like having a lot of money <laughs> and it's just it's just nice to have 
So this, I believe, is where our catching tutorial is. And I've set that to be randomized, so hopefully he'll find a, a random Pokemon. Magnemite. Okay, could have been funnier, but still Magnemite. That's not so bad. He has a Kabutops. <laughs> that didn't look like a Kabutops a second ago. Head smash! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He killed it, wow. I wonder if that will break the game? I hope not. <laughs> no, it works. Okay, well, we just don't get to see how to catch the Pokemon. <laughs> he just killed it, how rude. Okay, so now that we've got Pokeballs, we're able to get our first encounter. So what I will do, is I will just, well, we'll do that. Take one step, let's see what we get. Turtwig. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, I don't think we can do, we can hit him at all and he'll survive, so I'll just start. I'll just throw a ball and we'll see what happens. Hopefully he's not too difficult to catch. I don't want to waste all of my Pokeballs right here. I might not have a choice though. He has Seed Bomb. That's pretty good. I'll use one or two more. And if he doesn't go in, then I'll just let him go, I guess. Hopefully we can catch him though. That'd be nice. Alright, cool, we got him. We got Turtwig. So that is our first encounter of this game. First wild Pokemon. So as per Nuzlocke rules, we have to name him. So, I think that I will name him... Okay, I, I've got a name. I don't know how many of you have played Xenoblade Chronicles 2. But, there's a turtle in that game named Turters, so in honor of Turters, we will name our Turtwig Turters. Alright, that is our first wild encounter of this game. I should have checked his um, abilities and stuff. I'll do that after this. Let me just run real quick. Okay. Let's see what Turters has for us. A bold nature, okay. That makes him have extra defense, but less attack. And he has immunity, which is actually quite a good ability as well. He can't get poisoned. And thankfully, he started with a good move. He has Seed Ball. So I think what I'll do is put Turters in front so that we can level him up a bit. Um, we have disappeared. I don't know what that's about. Uh, probably just a bug. Uh, shouldn't really affect gameplay though. So, let me just save and reboot. Maybe that'll fix it. Yep, okay, rebooting solved the problem. I may just reboot every time that happens because it doesn't really look very nice. A Yanma. Hopefully, Turters will be able to take it out. Uh, we've got a pretty good move in Seed Bomb. Uh, I don't like how much damage that did. So, or how much damage that did. So I'm just gonna switch into Benny and have Benny take it out, and they can share the experience that way. Awesome. Okay, let's see how much Turters gets. 42. Nice, that's a good level up. 3 defense, that's pretty good. Neat. Alright, um... I'm gonna walk to try and avoid encounters. Didn't work. Uh, 
this is not good for Turters, so I will definitely switch straight into Benny. a good example of showing how walking decreases the encounter rate. Alright, I think that will be it for this episode. Um, not too, too much happened, but I don't want to get uh, another encounter yet. I'll save that for the next episode. I may just buy a Pokeball real quick so that I have at least a chance of catching it. Um, let me see if he actually has Pokeballs, though. That's the wrong guy. Okay, so I, it doesn't look like shop items are randomized. Uh, okay, thank goodness. Alright, so we'll just get... We'll get three of those. Got a nice five. Okay. Uh, we've got five potions. I will get one antidote and one of the other thing. Paralyzed heal. Just to have as a back up just in case um and yeah i'm going to end the episode here uh next episode we'll be going to the next city i forget what a lot of the towns are called so forgive me for that um but yeah next time we'll be getting our second encounter and we'll go to the next city so if you guys enjoyed leave a like leave feedback in the comments and i will see you in the next episode